Hey, today I'm going to make something I've been wanting to make for a long time. You might call it old school. Roast beef. I'm going to smoke this guy up for a bit, finish cooking it off, let it cool down. Then we're going to slice it really thin, just like that roast beef you buy in the grocery store. I've got a four pound eye of round roast here. Only $4.99 a pound. I was at the grocery to get some roast beef. They wanted 12 bucks a pound, right? I can buy New York strips and ribeyes less than 12 bucks a pound. So you can see what I'm doing here is just putting a little olive oil on. It's a binder for my seasoning. Doesn't take much. Now, um, the butcher did a pretty good job of trimming this up. There was some, where was it at? Back here, there was some silver skin that I took it off, but other than that, not much fat. Now for lunch meat, right, we're gonna turn it into thin sliced roast beef. You don't want a lot of fat and marbling like you do, you know, in your steaks and your roasts. To season this guy today, armadillo pepper beef rub. That's right. If you don't have this, choose your favorite beef rub, or you could just Google. There's a million recipes for seasoning mix for roast beef on the internet. Now you can go pretty heavy on this because you can see it's a thick cut of beef, so it'll take a lot of seasoning. As soon as I get this seasoned up, we'll work our way over to the smoker. You see I got that nice thin blue smoke. I'm using mesquite wood today. Now, this big thick of meat, big thick cut of meat can take some heavy smoke. All right, we're gonna get that guy in there. And let me get my temp probe in this, and I'm sorry if you're getting a shot of my elbow there. All right. Let's get the door shut on this Bradley. I'm doing 250 degrees today, and I'm gonna hit it with this mesquite wood smoke for about one hour. Now while this roast beef is cooking, let's give away armadillo pepper beef rub. All you gotta do is leave me a comment down below and tell me something you would like for us to make. It's been right at two hours. We're right at 123, 122. I like to take it out no more than 125. Let's get it out of here. Pull this tray out so we can have a look. There she is. Uh, have a look at that. Now, I like mine a little darker. You could put it in a cast iron pot if you wanted. But I'm gonna use this grill gun. You see she darkened up there a little bit. Just gonna turn it over to the other side. I got the grill gun in one hand and this in the other. I'm trying not to create a fire on my patio here. Let this guy cool down a little bit, just enough to be able to handle it. Then I'm going to move it into the fridge, cool it down so it'll stop cooking. Roast beef's been in the fridge about 45, 55 minutes. It's cooled down. Let's slice it up. Our roast beef is all trimmed up here. Oh, look at it. Nice medium to medium rare. We're gonna build up a sandwich, right? Got two pieces there. 
going to come in with some horseradish. Now, I didn't bring a knife, so we're going to make do with our fingers. Look at that. Okay, one piece there. Uh, look at that nice crust from that torch we put on there. Now I'm going to come in with a little bit of fresh leaf lettuce. I grew this myself. I got one of those, uh, I, I can't remember the brand, one of them hydroponic things where it grows it from the water with no soil. Seems to work pretty good. Look at that. We still got the juice coming out. I'm going to come in with a little brown mustard. Now, I would have put a tomato on this, but it seems that I don't have any. Okay. Now there's our sandwich on rye bread. That's the way I like it. Oh wait, I forgot something. I usually put Swiss on my roast beef. Let me take that bread off. I was getting some Swiss. They had this onion cheddar. I've never had it before. Onion cheddar, right? It's gotta go well with beef. There we got it. There we have it. Whatever the right words are. Let's give this roast beef a try. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Just like the deli, I gotta tell you, except better less than half the cost oh my gosh i would make this again and again and again I don't, excuse me sorry that onion cheddar is pretty awesome hey thanks so much for watching another one of our videos enjoy your week